Today's video is sponsored by Old Glory Rustic Sign. Head over to Old Glory and check out their new concealment flags. All of these flags are handcrafted and customizable to your liking. Head over to Old Glory today and type in code Z20 for 20% off. Enjoy today's video. You guys, it's time we start fighting back against these inconsiderate public transportation travelers. All right, we got to start doing something. Maybe like this. Look at this. If you're going to put your hair there, that's what happens. That's what happens. That's her hair now. It's in her space. She can do whatever she wants with it, including put gum in it. I fully support this. We got to start fighting back against these inconsiderate public travelers. It's enough. Enough. Happy Thursday. Welcome to this education and welcome to another episode of Try Not to Laugh. Guys, if you're new here, you laugh, you lose. There's no punishment Thursdays. These are our warm ups to our Sunday games. Or if you laugh there, you lose, you do a punishment. We're going to jump right into this one. If you're ready for today's game, head down and like this video. And if you are new here, please make sure you are subscribed and have the bell clicked for notifications when new videos are uploaded. Now on to today's game. Try not to laugh. Go. Can we stop duetting videos when we have absolutely nothing to add to them? Can we stop duetting videos when we have absolutely nothing to add to them? That's that's we something. Duetting videos <laughs> when we have absolutely nothing to add to them. <laughs> we stop duetting videos. Oh come on! How long did this go? We have absolutely nothing to add to them. We stop duetting videos <laughs> so when stupid. we have absolutely nothing to add to them. <laughs> we stop duetting. Oh come on! When we have you absolutely me? nothing to add to them. We stop duetting videos when we have absolutely nothing to add to them. <laughs> stop. Duetting videos when we have absolutely nothing to oh, yeah, add to them. that one. I don't them. get that one. Duetting videos when we have absolutely <laughs> nothing to add to them. I love it. I don't. I don't need to know what you looked like watching that TikTok. <laughs> we stop. Another one? Are you kidding me? When we have absolutely nothing to add to them. I don't. <laughs> this is why I love the internet. I love it. that's creative. It's it's a nice little subtle backhand right I love it almost got it <laughs> now you're being a smart ass you know you yep yep get him man get him he did that on purpose he just cost you what 10 bucks how, how much is that ball he did that on purpose he's trying to be funny he's trying to get on his education and he did it worked my husband had one job the Hulk Oh, okay, that looks kind of cool out here. <laughs> Get up! <laughs> that ain't no superhero. <laughs> oh, dude. Yeah, you had one job. You messed it up, brother. Now you're turtling on the floor, making the Hulk look weak. Come on. Ridiculous. You ruined his birthday. Her birthday. Whatever the case may be. Are they still putting these up at McDonald's? Kind of defeats the purpose. You're like, she's living the meme. The guy that's in the bank account. Like, you have negative $2. Shh, shut your mouth. Can we find that meme? You know what I'm talking about? Anyways, um, she's living the meme. I don't know why we still have these plexiglass things. One of the most illogical, stupid things we did during that time. Especially when people are just doing this. <laughs> One of you, your husband told your four-year-old... He would give him $500 if he found the fish. Let me guess, there's probably no fish in there. This, what does that say? This animal is temporarily off exhibit. It's messed up, man. It's messed up. Keeps him busy, at least. You know, where you at? This looks like you might be... You might be at Cabela's or something here. That's what I'm going to guess. Maybe Bass Pro Shop? Keep them looking, keep them busy while you go, f you get your tackle. You know, fishing season's coming up. Ice fishing's just getting done with. My mom got a picture done, but sent a screenshot from her camera roll. Oh, geez. Who, who would what? do such a thing? You did that. <laughs> I did not do it. <laughs> yeah, you, you did. You must have sent it like that. Wait, oh. such a beautiful picture. Oh. Family picture they ruined. <laughs> well, you, you, ruined. you did it wrong, Grandma. You did it wrong, okay? That's your fault. Yes, it is your fault. You, you have to crop the photo. Come on. My worst fear, my shoestring is caught in the escalator. Oh, no. get your shoe off. 
Hurry up! Uh, oh, okay, I got it. Okay, oh. Woo! Okay, well, here's one thing. Next time that happens, your first instinct should not be take out my phone and, and record it. You could get sucked down there. That escalator, could, it could get you. You never know. Husband finds out wife was married eight times before. What? If you're buying a home with your spouse and you've been married before, you should tell them before you get to the closing table. A husband found out that his wife had been married eight times before while signing documents. <laughs> wow. You know, I feel like if you're a lot of these, if you're dealing with personal information, whether you work for the government, like the county or something, maybe the the um, the DMV, you find out a lot of that stuff. Clearly, you're not supposed to share it. But eight times, and he didn't know. How did you not know? And why were you married eight times? I'm not judging. I'm not judging. But I'm judging. Okay, I'm sorry. When black is a category of contents. So is it a horror movie, a comedy TV show, a historical documentary? Black excellence. Uh-huh, that doesn't really tell me anything you need to know about the movie. It's not a movie. Oh, okay, so it's a TV show? It's a black director directing an all-black cast. Okay, great, what's it about? Uh, you're missing the point. It doesn't matter what it's about. <laughs> what matters is black. Uh, you see, we can market this as black creators, put it in its own category. What do you want to watch? You want to watch a drama? You want to watch a comedy? How about black brilliance? No, no, look, Tom, I'm totally on board with this, especially in February. I'm just trying to understand what's the show? What's it about? What do you mean? I mean, people don't search for shows by the skin color of the director and cast, right? I mean, don't they search by genre and ratings? Why is black creators even a category? We just want to combat racism. So you categorize by race? Yes, exactly. <laughs> Isn't that racist? <laughs> this is gold. Oh, it's gold. Let's see. Uh, let's put this guy's handle. He does some really funny stuff. So go to his page. Um, he makes a good point, though. And this is something I've said on this channel for a long time. Is this... You know, we want to treat each other equally, right? We want to treat each other with respect and, and um, the golden rule. Treat others as you want to be treated. But now that's not what is promoted. It's, it's like... This patronizing thing. It's really bizarre that this is how we, this is where we went to, you know? If it's, what's the movie about? Is it good? Is it, what's the story? But that's not what they're saying matter. Anyways, I digress. This guy's hilarious. That's a good, that's a good bit. Love it. Point of view, when you're trying to get at least something done from your to-do list. My look. One second, baby. My look. One second. Baby. My look. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> that is. A lot of you parents out there, you know exactly this. Like that scene from Family Guy with Stewie. Mom, mom. Um, this is what kids do. Our daughter's starting to do this. Look at me. Look at me. <laughs> ah, I see. Yeah, that, that's, that's awesome. <laughs> <gasps> oh, your ass is grass, and your drill instructor is the lawnmower. You're in trouble, buddy. Ooh, dude, that is not good. Ooh. Uh, story time. I remember when I was in basic training, uh, some kid got caught in the stall taking a nap, and he got in big trouble. <laughs> this is not good, dude. You guys are screwed. Ooh, I wish I saw the, the aftermath of that. I can't believe that's not recorded. Did everyone else know this? Did you know that this cheese goes bad three to five days after you open it? Shredded cheese, sliced cheese, what? doesn't matter the brand. It says use within three to five days of opening. What? This one, keep refrigerated. Use within three to five days of opening. What? Oh, I gotta when check. My husband and I discovered this. I think it was like a couple weeks ago at this point. I think we just stood in the kitchen in silence and stared at each other. What do you mean three to five days? I I would keep it till the date. The date on this is yep. July 5th. Yep. What do you mean three to five? Well, here's how long you keep it. And here here's my conspiracy on this. And my wife will say that I'm... Because I, I don't like things that go bad, especially like milk, sour cream. If it If it's past the date i'm not eating it that being said 
when it comes to cheese, it's good until it molds. That's my opinion. And I think those dates, a lot of dates on these things, they are just a way to make sure people are buying more stuff. You know, oh, it's past the date. You got, you better throw it away and buy more. Maybe, maybe. I, I won't chance it on milk or, or stuff like that though. No way. If wrestling is fake, explain this. Oh, yeah. Look at that. What is that, 270? Get damn close. Oh! Oh! Dang, dude. That's, that's, that's real. You're, that's not fake. Get them. Get them all. Come on. Oh, the spinneroo. Let's go. Oh! Yeah. Yeah, dude. Let's go. Why is this guy not in the WWE? Get him in the heavyweight bout. Get him. Mm, bam. What? Okay, that was a little over the top there. That last part was a little over the top. The guy clearly was flopping. Okay. But I don't see anything fake there. Anyone? Anyone see anything fake there? Not me. Me clicking through somebody's story on Instagram that went to a concert. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's like um, concert concert uh, stories are like firework stories. It's like most people, they don't care. Yeah, so people just skip through it. You guys know that though. You get, We've been over that. Life in your 30s. I feel like the weirdest part about getting old is like seeing your friends be in important positions in their company. Like, like bro, you're the director of accounting. You can't even Venmo request me the right amount from a group dinner. How is, how is that working at your company? I'm the manager now. I used to hate my manager. Now I see he was actually a lot nicer to me than he could have been, than he should have been. I'm at the age where I actually agree with Mr. Mosby. The, those kids were out of control. And it was far too nice of that hotel to let them stay there for free on a lounge singer's salary. Like, how is that worth it for the hotel? <laughs> he makes a good point. It's like, wait a minute, dude. I, you, I know some really bad things about you. I saw you do some really stupid things. And now you're a manager? Like, you, you're, in, you're in charge of people? Something ain't right here, dude. I, This company might be in trouble. <laughs> I ordered a new mailbox to receive my wife's Amazon deliveries. Oh, look at that. I'd laugh at this, but this we need this here at my house. Mm. Come on. But not, not the worst idea, you know. Keep them off the streets. Keep them off the stoop so people aren't stealing them. Stealing your packages, even if you don't want them. Oh, God, Aiden. <gasps> Oh God, Aiden. No. Oh God. No. Oh God, Aiden. Poor guy. Are you good? Oh. oh God, Aiden. I gotta watch it all again. Oh God, Aiden. It's like a slow motion fall. Oh, I mean, he couldn't stop it either. Once in motion, he's gone. It's all muddy. Look at this. Oh God, Aiden. Oh God, Aiden. Oh the noise. God. <laughs> Poor guy. Poor guy. <laughs> Taylor Swift has gone from Tokyo to the Super Bowl to Australia and has been performing shows for over three and a half hours at a time. And I've had this same load of laundry in the dryer since the Super Bowl. The Super Bowl? How many times have you ran it to de-wrinkle it? Jeez, man. Your husband's wondering where his shirt went, his favorite shirt. It's been in there the whole time. How is that fair to him? What my dad does to spam callers. Go for it. Old please. Old please. Oh, I love it. <laughs> yeah. Genius. We should all be doing this. Hopefully it blows out their speakers. That's what they get. That's what they get. And usually, like, around tax time, too, it gets worse. People, uh, they start spam calling nonstop. Happy President's Day, everybody. Make sure to celebrate by putting yourself in a presidential mood and drinking two Four Locos and showing up to work unable to walk unassisted or remember your own name. <laughs> uh, don't do that. 
But if you want to do your best impression of Biden, yes, that's uh, that will get the job done. You might need a little bit more, but uh, do not do that. You don't want to be doing that. So we just bought this house. What kind of USB port is that? <sighs> okay. Do they even put those in houses anymore? Like they build a new house? Phone line. I mean, does anyone have like a, a landline phone anymore? Is that a thing? Her husband accidentally placed 10 orders of 20 chicken nuggets for delivery. There's a more. That's a phenomenal mistake. Oh I, I wouldn't even call that a mistake. Oh that <laughs> is. Oh, that's it. Oh, man. A lot of nuggies. Wait, are all those bags of nuggets? <laughs> oh, that's a lot of nuggies. Again, one of the best mistakes I think you could ever make. You can't even call that a mistake. Not even an accident. He did that on purpose, for sure. Now, okay, so you got 10 orders of 20. So you need about you need about six barbecue packs per 20. So six times that you need 60 barbecue packs. Did they give that to you? That's a whole separate bag. It should be like a two, two, maximum three ratio. Three to one pack ratio, max. Brits try authentic Mexican food in America. Free chips, mate. And a sauce with it. Elite. Yeah. Elite. Yeah. Stay out of Gotham. Stay out of Gotham. Yeah, stay out. You do not do that. If you're doing this, I know you guys do some weird stuff over in the UK with your food, but you don't, don't pour the, the salsa on the chips. And you find out you're pregnant, so your husband has to clean the litter box for the next nine months. We just fired the um the person that does that, but now you have been promoted. You are now one of my elite employees. Yeah, this is I'm not even lying right now. I feel like the worst part about your wife being pregnant is that exact thing. I freaking hate doing it. I, I do. I do it. I do it every day. Otherwise, it stinks. But, ugh. Democrat gaslighting 2021. There's not a border crisis. There's no crisis at the border. There is not a crisis at the border. Okay, there's a border crisis, but it's Trump's fault. He's spot on. We actually, we went over this on Clown World. Clown World episode not that long ago. Where they showed the the clips. Was it Mayorkas? Then it was Kamala Harris. Then it was Joe Biden. Literally, verbatim almost, what he just did. Clown roll. To get to him, you gotta go through me. He's the best brother. <laughs> <laughs> okay, clearly it was a joke. It was a joke. He was, you know, taken back, but I hope it was a joke. It was a bad joke. Bad joke. Oh, no, no. This is why you keep hooked up, brother. No. Oh, that sucks. Look at that. Got your ass castle sliding across. Damn, no. That is. I'm going to go ahead and guess you're somewhere in Nodak, North Dakota for the layman. You know, windier than. Windier than I don't know what. You got to leave her hooked up until you set her down. That's that's the, the rules. Everyone knows that. I can't believe what was in my boots. Kind of scared. Don't jump out at me. Did you wash your ass today? Okay. All right. I'm glad to see that meme is still going around. There you go. There you go. Didn't get me. Didn't scare me. Ha ha ha. Your 2.5% mortgage rate when it hears you say, we need more space. Don't you say that. Don't you ever say that. Stay here. <laughs> Stay as long as you can. <laughs> Hard to beat 2.5, man. You'll probably never beat 2.5. So unless you really need the space, uh, your, more, your, your rate is going to go way up or your, your monthly payment. My wife with $46 in her bank account and a Target gift card with $6.07 left on it. Hey, what's your thoughts on possibly redoing our floors? We should really look into trading your truck and getting a seven-seater. Ooh, you know what we should get? One of those espresso machines like Starbucks has. Hey, what's your thoughts on getting a gazebo this summer? 
What are your thoughts on replacing our kitchen table finally? We should take the kids to Disney World this year. We should put this house up for sale and build a new home. What's your thoughts on removing the little pepper flake from your tooth? <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and guess, uh, you know, he's a little salty. He's heard this once or twice, but every, every husband's heard this, some variation of this at some point. Don't do it. Once you, once you extend your standard of living in any capacity, it's hard to go back. So don't do it. Hey, you having a good day? Job. Yeah. How about now? How about now? He's out here. He's just terrorizing. He's terrorizing the world with videos like this. Shame on you. Shame on you, dude. Just can't believe it. Everyone with OCD is freaking out right now. Did you slurp it up? Did you make a mess? Now we got to know her teaching. I say, Carmel, you'd be forgetting this letter right here. What's this letter, Elsie? Seven. That's an A. How do you pronounce A? Ah. A. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> Can. Ah. Mel. Caramel. <laughs> you got it. I agree with this statement. Caramel. Caramel. Carmel. You know, it's a, you don't pronounce the A, okay? I don't know why the English language has a lot of weird stuff like that. You don't say knife, knife, I'll explain that one. You don't say caramel, you say caramel. Everyone knows that, everyone, everyone does, everyone knows it. Do you need to plug something in the wall? I got you, okay. I got you. All right, we got eight plugins there, that's a I lot. I got you. Right. Okay. I got you. What in the I got hell? You. I got, Are you I running got you. A, a Bitcoin mining farm? I got, I got you. How do, many do you freaking... Do you need to plug something in? What the... You. Hold on. <laughs> do you need to plug something in? Is this in? a dialysis clinic? I got you. <laughs> what do we need to plug in so much stuff Yeah, this for? looks like a house. What's going on here? That's a wow. lot of plugins. I guess... What was here? Yeah, what was there? I guess... It's better to have more than not have enough. I, I will say that. When you don't have to worry about paying for a wedding because your daughter only dates losers. <laughs> oh no. Skippity doo da, skippity day. <laughs> da, 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 da. <laughs> Silver linings, I guess. But don't let her date losers. Come on. Let's have a civilized discussion. Liberals. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen that exact look a thousand times, man. There's no civilized discussion with liberal. It, truly. It's very, very rare. Very rare. It's like, wait, wait hold on a sec. Well, if you look at the, the, the crime statistics, especially uh, you know, violent crime, stuff like that, rah, you, they don't want to hear it. They don't want to hear it. Well, if you take out... The, okay, it, it's not even worth your time. Unless, unless this is entertainment for you. Sometimes it is. I'm not saying that's a good trait, but. In my 25 years on earth, I have yet to be roasted so hard that I was silenced. Until last night, I was running through the Chipotle line and the guy checking me through was like, have you ever seen She's the Man? Oh, dude, it's perfect. Oh, I couldn't recover from that one. I knew exactly what he meant and. Show it. You win. Good game. Good game. Eh, hey, that's perfect. Hey, you know what? I love this. You're taking it like a champ. It was a good comparison. And it is what it is, right? You don't, you don't be offended by it. I love it. You acknowledge that's a win. Nothing to be ashamed of. I love it. Boy dinner. Oh, hell yeah, dude. That's a T-bone. Looks like you're already halfway through. That's a big T-bone too, brother. Got to get ready for two days. Got to start packing on that protein, that muscle. You got to start packing it on, man. Two days coming up. That's what I'm talking about. Get them ready. Might be a defensive end there. Who's more attractive, liberal men or conservative men? Oh my God, is that even a question? I have never seen an attractive liberal man, and I think that's because they hate masculinity inherently. The three C's are Christian, conservative, cowboy, in that order, and if you do not fit inside the three C's, there's no need to have a conversation. Traditional, cowboy, rugged, hairy chest, boots, man, I'm in. Some of the liberal men are actually women. I have been informed of such. She knows what she wants, all right? Ladies, what are your thoughts on that? What are your thoughts? 
Uh, does she make good points? Are you guys on the same page with her? How'd you do in today's video? Did you laugh at all? If you did, you lose. All you gotta do is watch again on Sunday or if you test yourself and lose, you gotta do a punishment. That's what we do on Sundays, all right? You have to. Let me know how you did down in the comments. While you're down there, please like this video. Please help us get it recommended to others. That's it for today's video. Until next time, I'm Tyler Zed. And this is Education. Beer brewed here. It is used to make the brew beer. Idiots.